In this video, we're gonna look at how to create a YouTube channel in 2020 for beginners the right way. This easy to follow step by step instruction was designed to take the guesswork out of your channel creation. So watch this video till the end, starting now. Hey, it's Raul Cruz here from Life Almanac where we will help you with your brand and YouTube business using videos. If you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button and all the links in the description box below. So let's dive into it. Before creating a channel, you should read the YouTube community guidelines and policy. This is to ensure that you are agreeable with YouTube policies and also you are aware of what you can do and what you cannot do. So go over the whole page, read and understand everything to have a smooth video creation process without incurring any violations and community strikes. Once you're done with YouTube policies, next is to open a Gmail or Google account. Fill out your first name, your last name, your preferred username and password. Then click next. If you already have a Google account, you can sign in instead. Just follow the instructions after clicking next. Now that you have a Google account, you can now open your YouTube account. Go to youtube.com and click sign in on the upper right hand corner. Then click create account on the bottom left. You are presented with two choices for myself and to manage my business. Choose to manage my business then click next. And finally is to set up your channel. First you have to change your channel art by clicking on the pencil icon here. The size of this is 2560 pixels wide by 1440 pixels tall. But you will ask me where do I get all the images for this? There is a free website called canva.com wherein you can design your channel art the easy way. All you have to do is sign up and click create design, click YouTube channel art and then you will see on your left various options available for you. Aside from the channel art, you have to upload a headshot to make sure that you are a real person and also your logo. Input your email address and your location and lastly, click on the about page and edit the description. Also, put all your social media links here. You are allowed up to five social media links. So first and foremost, we're going to look at what you need before recording your first YouTube video. The first obviously is your internet speed. Since you are rendering videos and uploading them on the internet, your internet speed should be decent enough. The minimum speed I would recommend is 15 Mbps. That would get you by in the beginning but the preferred speed should be at least 25 Mbps. And for best results, 50 Mbps is optimum. Recording gear. You can use any brand of DSLR or mirrorless camera in a tripod. But if you have none, you can start with your iOS or Android smartphone, but still you will be needing a tripod for stability purposes. Audio. Your audio is the most important part of your video. There are many cheap but good quality microphones around usually below $40. There are even good quality mics below $20. But if you are just starting, you can get by with the built-in microphones in your computer or smartphone. Although the quality may not be good. Your lighting system. Again, there are many cheap lighting system out there below $60, but you can make do with the available light coming from outside of the room. Reinforce that with your room lights and lamps and you're good to go. The only drawback without a lighting system is you cannot record at night or when it is cloudy. Next is a laptop or desktop. Mac or PC. A storage spec should be at least 256 gig. Minimum memory of 8 but 16 gig is preferred. I personally use a MacBook Pro 13 inches but your PC laptop or desktop should do the trick. And lastly, you should have a video editing software. It could be a free software or a paid one. For beginners, you could start off with a free software 
and then upgrading as you gather the necessary experience. The first on the list is iMovie for Mac only. Next is Lightworks for Mac, Windows, and Linux. The third one is HitFilm Express for Mac and PC. Next is a web-based editor, Movie Maker Online for Mac and PC. There's no software to download and install. That's just some of the free software you can try. There are still lots and lots to find around. If your skill level has improved and your budget permits, then you can go for a paid software. For me, I have tried the following. ScreenFlow for Mac, priced at $129. Camtasia Studio for Mac and PC, priced at $249. And Final Cut Pro 10 for Mac only. They have a 90-day free trial after which you can buy that for $299, one-time payment. Right now, I am using the Vinci Resolve 16 free version. They also have a paid version, the Vinci Resolve Studio, which sells for $299. Well, that's about it. If you like my video, leave a comment in the description box below. Coming up next on Life Almanac, how to name your channel and how to find your niche or niche. Stay tuned!